Port Moresby is full of BDE, big energy. It's amazing how much rich history Papua New Guinea has and how much of history revolved around BDE. Port Moresby is a place where you can get a full lobster for $30 and then the bowl of rice on the side costs $10. Take a look at that lobster. That lobster is amazing. The hotel will tell you not to go outside, but the people you do meet are super nice although there are odd moments that feel very dangerous. Port Moresby is rich in cultural history, but there isn't a lot to do as a tourist. But here are the highlights. One of the main places to visit is the Adventure Park, which has traditional sculptures. It has the Port Moresby Eye. It's not called that, but may as well be. It has many types of birds, tree kangaroos, and crocodiles. And the way they look after the crocodiles is a little bit different. That one's fake. The real one. The real one. That is the real one. He's the one look up for this. We had no idea what was going to happen, but he jumped the fence and used the crocodile as a pillow. Very brave. <laughs> One of the insane things about these birds is that the tribes people shoot them with their bow and arrows to get the feathers. Meanwhile, I find it hard to just film the birds. Their aim with a bow and arrow is seriously impressive. Just to take the feathers for the headdress. Well, Moresby is just learning to deal with traffic and this new thing called traffic jams. We've never experienced the traffic jam before. Really? After 2000 and uh, 19. Yeah. We started to experience the traffic jumps. Is it as dangerous as people make it out to be here or? No. No? Yeah, because it doesn't really seem to be very. No, it's, it's, you know, like anywhere in the world. Um, the countries, the cities, that the places that you don't need to go and you need to go. There's one part that's going to be a dark corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost the case. We were discussing the dangers when it happened. Hi, yep. Hello, how are you? A random person came up to hey. say hello, which highlights how friendly the people are here. Very friendly, yeah. But then I did have to put the window up because our guide noticed a person was acting suspicious. That guy is looking, looking. Uh, some, some areas, you know? Uh, some areas. Some people I can know, and on, only in this area I had some some stories. So oh, really? That's when the other guy was wandering around and looking around. It's uh... like I suspected. These were the only incidents we really saw that were scary. There was another incident where one person did move their arms in a gesture to pretend like a gun that they were shooting at us, which was weird, but other than that, we never really felt any sense of danger. The next place to visit is the museum, where once again the people are so friendly. You have some questions, we will be around. If you have some questions, then you can ask. Uh, using the using it for trade. People along the central land, central here in NCTC and down at Milimbe, they have a trade called Kula Trade. So that can we have been using, using it for the trade. There's a lot of BD and a lot of big other things too. Looking at these ancient sculptures, I can't help but feel they were trying to send us a message. Then we went to the market. Guys, want a photo. Uh, they want a photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they want a photo. <laughs> when we got to the market, we were quickly stopped by people who wanted some photos. Yeah, make a Ah, you are. Regular question. Yeah, regular. Regular. Crazy. looking market from Thank you. Thank you. I think they wanted the photos more than us. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hello. It's rich in banana. Hi. Have a lot of bananas, yeah. Hello. 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 Thank you. No worries. Welcome to Pokemon. And for most peace, it's just a city that is isolated from its own 
22 provinces okay. in the country. I think in the world it's a first of each kind. Uh, the capital city is isolated from all its provinces. Oh, really? There's no connections. Oh. No road connections. So you it, can't drive to any of you can, No, cannot. Oh, so wow. you only by flying in. Oh, wow. Mm. And flying out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of uh, there's no infrastructure, the road. What most is like a city of each own on its own road and not linking into other provinces. When we don't have a train railway here, we don't have trains here. And since Port Moresby isn't connected to any other cities by roads or trains, many of these items are flown in as people's airline luggage. They ship them down and then they sell them here. Oh wow. Because the demand is very high. Then the fish market. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> It's my friend. It's oh, the, the oh, photo. Oh. I genuinely thought he said stab there, but he actually said snap and meant photos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And again, they were so friendly. Where else would you get a photo and a welcome to the market with the owner? Wow. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I wish I can cook. Yeah. I will buy a few. The fish here is so fresh, we saw a fisherman bring in some from his boat. And we could see other people fishing at the beach outside. And with that, our time in Papua New Guinea had come to an end. And look, there's no denying that the stats and figures are scary. I'm trying to eat dinner and then randoms keep intruding. And whilst there is some evidence online of tourists being targeted, in general, it's actually the local people who suffer the most from these. And we never really felt any danger. Do they still have the uh, cannibal tribes here? Uh, no. No. All finished. There's only one I know. There's one? Still existing. Yeah. That is in, uh, near the border of uh, uh, West Papua and Papua New Guinea. But it's quite an unexplored uh, uh, area, you know. It's, quite remote and you're gonna have to be really brave enough to enter the tribe. Have you been I there? Was, I was there only once. I tried to take the people in and I, we didn't feel safe and we give up. Most of the areas unexplored. Unexplored, yeah. By outside the world. Yeah. So it's like you, it's back to Genesis. Yeah. As in the beginning, it's all in fake in here. They've got totally different language so nobody can understand this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.